I mean, uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty fucking insane. I mean, and suddenly the number one counterplay to Lionheart is out the door. You can't power crush anymore. It's, it's, this is so fucking cool with Tekken, in my opinion, that... I mean, it's like Akuma in Tekken 7, where you pl they played him for two and a half years. The best players in the world, and they were all convinced, as a global community, well... That's unfair, because Pakistan wasn't discovered yet, and they knew Akuma was god tier. It's just, just that everyone else, even me, felt like... Oh, he's mid tier, Akuma. For two and a half years. Uh, and here it's like... Oh, how do you beat Lionheart? Oh, just mash your fucking Power Crush. Power Crush beats every single option, because... Steve can't throw from Lionheart. And he can't do a low. So, all of all of your stuff there just loses to, uh, uh, to Power Crush. Steve can try to duck, right? Duck or sway. From, uh, from Lionheart, but it's still taking a risk and it's still not very strong. And then suddenly, yeah, uh, I guess, what was his name? Bam? Le Francais? French Steve player. European Tekken players. There's something else, you know. Uh, apparently he found that you can actually, from Lionheart, you can go into Peekaboo. And when you get access to Peekaboo, suddenly you can block. When you go into Peekaboo, you can't immediately block, but if enough frames pass, when you manually go into Peekaboo, you can block. So suddenly, you can block your opponent's Power Crush and punish them. Right? Or, what do Power Crushers do? They lose to Froze, right? So you, you get to peekaboo... 10 count fro, right? And suddenly the character cha changes dramatically and it's so fucking cool. Um, but also, it's, uh, it's a pretty high execution cancel, but... I practiced it for like, uh, what, 10 minutes? And I'm I'm doing it pretty consistently. So it's, it's hard, but it's not that hard. Like if you practice this for a bit, you're gonna get it pretty consistently. So again, Kazuya, I, I, I do back one two into Lionheart and Kazuya wants to counter by doing Power Crush. This is what I've been doing now for, you know, six weeks, how long the game has been out. So here, I just do this cancel into peekaboo, and I can block and punish Kazuya. And now I'm dropping it. Oh, there we go. If you do it fast enough, we can, we can do the throw, but the easiest one is simply blocking the power crush. That's easier, yeah. Uh, but so let, let's explain how to do this. Uh, so basically, uh, you, you go into Lionheart, be it forward 2-2, two, two, down back 3-2, back 1-2, up back 2. And the timing is strict. Like, it's it, this is gonna come down to everything that's difficult in tech in terms of execution. It's waiting for your input window. And here, to me, it seems to be, you have to wait out the light blue trail. And Steve's uh, punch there, his hand, to come back to his body after that trail goes away. That's when I start inputting. Just sli slightly after that. Wait for the trail to go away. And here comes the... So wait for the trail, it's pretty specific. Wait for the trail to go away. Now you start inputting. And now you have to input forward free, which is, you know, the duck in. Do, don't let go of forward free. Press forward free, don't let go. And on the very next frame, you add free four. And so, so you're gonna need a bind here to do this. So forward free hold. 
Oh, oh, wait, no, you don't need a bind, maybe. I haven't... Oh, uh, never mind, you don't need a bind. You can press forward, free, hold, and then add four. And you, you get it, right? Uh, but I, I use a bind. It's, it's more, uh... <laughs> it's more comfortable for my fingers. So there you go, that's what it looks like. So, press forward, free. Don't let go, and then on the very next frame, don't bring it away. What was the song? Oh God, my 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 brain is still it's March, and my brain is still Christmas damaged. You gave it away, and then you met that guy with the big schlong, and I cried all night long. No wait, Zion, that's your version of a song. Did he call you back? I I really hope he did. Uh, God, where was I? I started thinking about penis. Uh, so yeah, forward free, don't let go, and then press free for on the very next frame. I, I want to start singing again. So forward free, next frame, the exact frame after that, free for. It's 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 pretty strict, right? You gotta be fast. If, if you get a duck in like this, means you failed. But obviously, if he immediately drops down into peekaboo, you did it properly. Nice. So this is gonna complete, completely change how people play Steve. And those of you who play Steve, you wanna obviously try and get this uh, with very high consistency. Oh god, I, I just had it, I had it like a hundred percent. But it's, yeah, it's tough. But yeah, holy shit, is this uh, a big deal and a big find. Uh, and I do believe the, the ease of beating Lionheart up until now was a big reason uh, a lot of top players didn't hold Steve in very high regard in Tekken 8. So when you add something like this and it's like, uh, it's a pretty big deal. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. I think a problem for me was that I wanted to start holding back and I let go of forward too early. But yeah, super cool technique, so yeah, those of you main Steve, practice that immediately. <laughs> immediately, yeah.